The materials that are needed are dry ice, magnesium scrapings, gloves for protection, a chisel for carving into the dry ice, and a burner for igniting the magnesium. The first step is going to be to carve a small hole into the bottom block of the dry ice with the chisel large enough to hold all of the magnesium scrapings. Once you have finished carving the hole, pour the magnesium scrapings into the hole and make sure that there is no magnesium on the surface of the dry ice. The next step is going to be to take the Bunsen burner and ignite the magnesium that is sitting inside the dry ice. <laughs> Once you get a good flame going, the magnesium will be lit. Quickly take the top to the dry ice and place it over the base to cover the magnesium that is burning inside. Wow. <laughs> the most amazing thing about this is the fire inside that is burning the magnesium is being ignited by the carbon dioxide which normally puts out fires. So instead of the fire being burned with oxygen, it is being burned with carbon dioxide from the dry ice. Magnesium and carbon dioxide burn together to create magnesium oxide. The remaining carbon is separated and can be seen as a black coating on the outside of the magnesium oxide. Here we can see the carbon dioxide being released from the dry ice. The CO2 is the white gas floating on top of the sink. In conclusion, this reaction is a combustion and oxidation. What's unusual, however, is that magnesium is reactive enough to be combusted and oxidized in a reaction with carbon dioxide. The equation is magnesium plus carbon dioxide becomes magnesium oxide plus carbon. Under normal combustion and oxidation circumstances, oxygen is the reactant, but in this case the carbon dioxide is the reactant. Bye.